Let's explore the 4% rule in retirement and finance. On average, the stock market grows at about 7-10% to per year, depending on how you run the numbers. For this video, we will be assuming an 8% yearly growth rate. That means if you put $100 in the S&P 500 index fund on January 1st, on December 31st you will have on average $108. A year later, you'll have $116.64. Once you put money in, you'll keep making more and more money. The 4% rule is the idea that if you take out money from your investment, your investment could continue to grow. Let's say you took out 4% of your investment at the end of year 1. You put in $100, and it grew to $108. You take out $4 to spend, and you're left with $104 in the stock market. After one year, that money is multiplied, again, by 1.08, and you'll have $112.32. The value of your principal the money in the stock market, is still increasing even though you take out money every year. This perpetual ATM machine is the foundation of the 4% rule. Let the stock market do the hard work while you sit back and cash out. Now the reason it's 4% and not the full 8% is to allow a buffer for the money to keep growing and to account for other factors like inflation and the unpredictability of the stock market. If your money keeps growing, every year you'll have a larger payout, which will be necessary due to the lower purchasing power of your money over time. People often think they need obscene amounts of money to succeed in retirement, but that is not the case. To calculate how much money you need to retire, you simply need to know how much money you plan to spend per year. Let's say you aim to spend $30,000 per year in retirement, which by the way is a boatload of money if you have a fully paid off house. For context, I was renting a nice apartment near the urban core of my city, traveling across the United States, eating like a king and going to every social activity I wanted to in 2019, and my expenses were about $22,500. This year, I am on track to spend about $11,000 by changing my housing situation. $30,000 is more than you need in any reasonable U.S. city, not named New York or San Fran. Anyway, if you divide $30,000 by 0.04, you get only $750,000. You don't even have to be a millionaire to retire with ridiculous margins. You won't need social security, and you'll be living like a king. At the end of the day, the 4% rule is a general theory, and results may vary depending on your situation. Even with the built-in buffer, having more capital or income than you need is preferable but the power of the market still prevails. Instead of breaking your back like the working class, why don't you let the market do all the heavy lifting? This is Mo Money Mango, and I hope to make you all very rich. Mm -hmm.